Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. I just want to show you the results of uh, what we've accomplished so far with our blast furnace, our homemade blast furnace that we've made out of a 55 gallon drum and fire bricks and the lid out of uh, a Model A tire rim. Now, we've gone through uh, six burns so far. Um, we have, let me show you what we've gotten as far as yielding as uh, usage of materials. Now, our Model A tire rim has worked fairly well for six burns. You can see our refractory cement here is starting to uh, melt away. Um, our Model A tire rim is uh, gone from that to that. So there is where we're at with usage of this. With six burns so far. Now we can still probably use this lid for maybe two more burns which we're going to uh, hopefully accomplish at some point soon. I've got more borax. And here's the what we've got in the kiln so far. And as you can see, the fire bricks are holding up well. We've got a little meltage from uh, the lid. It's came down and melted down across here. You can see the refractory cement in here. Uh, refractory, that you know what that is? That's magnesite. All that white stuff that's not burnt. That's magnesite. You know where that's at? That's from Peggy Ann's mine. <laughs> well, it's not actually from Peggy Ann's mine, but Peggy Ann's mine has all that refractory magnesite right there in it. Now, sometime when we get our own little <clears throat> recipe going, we'll be able to make our own. So, now, uh, fire bricks have yielded uh, little wear, which uh, makes me think that I'm going to have to make my next lid out of... Uh, these um, and then hold them together somehow some way with a little bit more packed more dense better cut blah 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 if anybody knows the exact angles of the fangles on the dangles to get the right <clears throat> triangle <laughs> on the rock um, please let me know uh, I, I, I will be forever appreciative uh, now as you can see though we've got the we've got metal on the uh, on the all the inside of the kiln all the way around as you see there's some there a little bit there let's see there's a little bit there and some there and there kind of dribbles all the way down there so yeah that just tells me that uh, if y'all ever find a, a blast furnace around you might want to smash it up and see what's in the bottom of it now you can see that we've got the uh, down here we've got a lot of melted glass a lot of slag uh, our our crucible is holding up well as you can see there's just a little bit of slag in the bottom there probably just glass there might be some metal in it who knows doesn't look like it though so and uh, let's see this was uh this was about uh, four hundred dollars for this crucible here um and let's see we've got uh probably 40 to 50 dollars in brick uh refractory cement probably 150 in refractory cement uh i just had that laying around so i didn't have anything in that didn't have anything in that came with that so duct tape i had lying around um <clears throat> so there's where we're at with after six pours, we have gotten uh, two bars. The first bar we yielded, just out of luck, because we used the right mixture, and we decided to use an ore we were familiar with. And uh, the other ones were new ores. Uh, the second ore was an ore that was a high concentrate of black sand magnetic I don't think I didn't think it I didn't get hot enough and there was it was the wrong type of uh, 
flux. Now the third pour was a mixture of uh, Peggy Ann's mine and I tried to mix in some of that other flux to see uh, if I could do that and that was a mistake. My bad. And no, wrong, wrong. Third pour was Peggy Ann's mine. I didn't get it. I didn't let it get hot enough. That's what it was. I didn't let it get hot enough. And by not waiting long enough, it was boiling and it had a nice rolling boil. And I thought maybe that was just perfect. It had a few little blob spikes in it, uh, bubbles and hot stuff. Um, but I didn't wait long enough. I should have waited another 10 minutes because it has to, it has to get a nice smooth placidity to like a little lake. And that is when the metals settle down to the bottom. Now, when the metals settle down to the bottom, yeah, wait about five minutes, then you pour. I didn't wait long enough. They were still rolling around in all that glass and the borax and... So, by doing that, we poured it and poured it on top of the second pour. That's what I did wrong. I poured it on top of the second pours glass I didn't, I didn't clean out the glass i just poured it right up mistake then fourth pour <clears throat> fourth pour was remelting the glass that we mistakenly poured thinking it was all going to work together because it was i didn't have the right flux for burn number three burn number two and three were totally separate mines totally different fluxes yeah that's yeah different fluxes for different mines and art it is. It is an art. Um, so, number four was a fail. Number five was a success. Um, and that was the two pours that we did recently. Um, one was a fail. First one was a fail because we remelted the glass. Then we had to burn because the kiln was hot, so we put in what we knew would work. And we got a good bar. So, hopefully, uh, this next pour, we'll be able to continue doing what we're doing and make it work. Now, now I know, wait until what's boiling in the crucible is to a fine placidity, like a lake. No boiling, no nothing, just sitting there, hanging out. No wind, no nothing. That's when you pour. Be safe. The desert artist here. Hanging out. Trying to make it work. Be safe.